So we're back again with another video on my favorite fruit trees to grow in containers. Now there are some um, fruit trees that grow in container very easily, but I do have my favorites. And last time we looked at one of my favorites, which happens to be a pomegranate. They grow easily in containers and can stay in containers for many, many years. This tree before you is called a strawberry guava. This tree is actually in full bloom and the bees are having their way with it. It is a self-pollinating tree, but whenever you induce or introduce bees, then you could get a uh, guarantee that you're going to get most of your um, flowers pollinated. This is very important. We're going to get a little bit closer. I'm going to show you how to deal with certain pests and how I feed my tree. This tree right now is approximately seven feet tall and it has grown substantially. This is its third year, next month, July, 2023, and is growing in a 40 gallon container. Before I get started, I wanna show you a product. This is made by a company called Safer and it's diatomaceous earth. Now diatomaceous earth comes in two different applications. One is agricultural, which you see here. You use this to treat outdoors. The other is food grade. You use that in your home or human consumption. Now this kills ants, crawling, and insect killer. And if you look closely, it also kills cockroaches, fleas, silverfish, earwings, and bed bugs. This is an awesome product. And I'm going to show you how I treat them inside my containers to get rid of sugar ants. And the reason I use this to treat inside my containers is because anytime you have ants present, the ants have a symbiotic relationship with aphids and they will keep aphids safe at your tree limbs so that the aphids can suck the life out of your trees and then the ants will go and take the sugar content from the aphids. Get rid of the ants and you can easily treat the aphids. So let's get a little bit closer here. You'll notice here's my 40 gallon container. And when it comes to the soil that I love to use, I love to use a high quality, rich potting mix and a mixture of vermiculite. I love to add in here and sometimes pumice rock for better drainage. However, if you find yourself having difficulty with drainage, it's because your soil is not porous enough. You need to add something that's going to allow for better drainage. Now, when we look at the tree, you'll notice there's a lot of blossoms on the tree, a lot of them. And then we got full buds all over the tree. Now, this is the first year, as all of my trees are in the food forest, they've started to bloom and everything is packed with lots of fruits. This is no exception. And if you look closer, you'll see blooms all over the place. And I'm really, really looking forward to what this tree provides. But as I've stated, lots and lots of buds, which inevitably goes into flowering. And from the flowers they are self-pollinating, they will end up producing these beautiful red strawberry guavas. This is a very large tree. And when you look at the trunk, the trunk tells the story. And you look at his height. I can stand back here and there's a six foot line fence there. And there's the tree there. And the width is approximately three feet uh, in the front and about four feet in the back area. Now, when you look closer, you'll notice I have some diatomaceous earth around the base. And sometimes I'll follow along where the ants trail were because they live right over there in my strawberries. And so the ants are gone. And if you ever want to know if ants are in your containers, you simply take a mallet and you bang the side of the container and the ants don't like movement. Just like an earthquake, all animals and insects start to travel away from where the uh, disruption is happening. Now I feed all of my container grown trees once a month. And 
I make sure that after the initial springtime, after my initial compost, I like to add to the top at least three to four inches. I then go back and make sure I use a combination of my fish emulsion, seaweed extract, and I also use my agricultural molasses every other month for this particular tree. All your trees are gonna differ, but their feeding should be done once a month. As far as the agricultural molasses, or maybe treating your trees with chelated iron or some sort of fungicide, you would have to do that as necessary per tree, per cultivar. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And remember, you don't need a 40 gallon container to grow your trees. A 25 gallon to a 30 gallon half wine barrel is sufficient. Just remember, dwarf varieties are better grown in containers. What you see here in my entire yard are standard trees. I don't suggest anyone, especially those without experience, grow standard trees uh, in containers because you don't have the experience. Until next time, happy gardening and happy harvesting. Shalom.